this is Vincent again and then I'm here to do another anime review I ran out of anime to show because I actually don't have that many no I didn't run out <laughs> shit <laughs> reach the cats have a... oh shit it's not open yet Ah, Fritz the Cat, I cannot believe it. Uh, let's find an anime that I actually watched, you know. Big O. Very predictable. But I don't know, I just... I just love watching it. I might make a, a review about it one day. Two things I like about Big O. That's it, right? Okay, I can look for more stuff, but, uh, you know... I'm here to talk about a new anime review. All right, so this anime, uh, I just watch, finish watching it, and uh, I mean, so far, you know, I think there's gonna be more seasons, but I'm just getting it from Netflix, and they, they just stop at season two or something, which is a bummer. I really wanted to see more. It's an awesome anime, but uh, the the game, the title of the anime is Q. Like Yui, I think. She, I don't know. I like the anime. I, I don't really get the title. They could have picked something easier to remember. It's anime about volleyball, and it's all about like just like this. Uh, this guy, uh, two guys. They they first join a, a volleyball club. It's the first year. They um like kind of amateur, uh, but they're learning volleyball and. Uh, you know the 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 one guy he's like a very okay you know i'm just gonna talk about him later he's my number three <laughs> so i should reserve some time right but let's talk about number one actually number one so this is a game about volleyball and then, you know i don't know you've watched a game of volleyballs like live ones it's fun but uh, it's okay i mean come on it's it's fun it's okay you kind of watch the camera pans around, like the ball goes here, goes here, goes here. And then you wait, okay, somebody's gonna score points, okay, that's fine. But when you watch Ka... Ka... Ka whatever that, that anime is, Ka... Ka I mean, you feel like the, the action sequence are cool. I really love the action sequence, you know, they they show the, the, the person hitting the ball, and then the ball goes here, and then you can tell, like, from the... the action sequence like if the ball is in or out so you know like what happened you you can tell like okay oh, this this person crushed the ball it was so difficult you can tell everything you know it's like you can follow a game of volleyball better than if it was live and that's awesome you know i really like um you know i kind of like all kinds of anime i really liked uh, ping pong that was one of um one of the animes i really like uh, I mean, I really like the anime mainly because I like the movie version of it first, and that one was like just my favorite movie of all time. But uh, yeah, the the this anime, the volleyball one, the Kakiwi, the action sequence are cool. You know, they can feel, and you watch it, and you feel like, oh, I really feel like I really enjoy this match. I can follow what's happening, and it's it's awesome. Let's go to number two. This, so you know, I was doing this anime uh, review before, and then the previous one was uh, Ka Kagerui, which is an anime about gambling, and then every game they is like different, and they explain the rules, and I actually don't follow the rules, you know, like all the time. They sometimes they explain the rules, and at by the end of the rules, it's like okay, I didn't get it, but just let's see how the characters react. So I don't follow everything about the, the actual game, you know. But uh, this this Kakiwi uh, anime, I understand everything that is happening. You know, they explain like uh, the volleyball strategies, and then it, as I follow it, I learn about volleyball, and it's awesome. You know, when I uh, first watched the sh the the show, and then the the beginning of the show, there's this guy. He really likes to be like the setter, you know, the pie, the guy who passes the ball. And I was thinking, like, what the hell? The setter? 
yeah, it could be anybody. The, whoever passes the ball to the guy who, who smashes, why is it so important? But they, they make the emphasis that the setter is very important. And then after the first series, first show, first episode, I understood, okay, the setter is very important. And then as I continue to watch, oh, the setter has very big role. It's like the, the guy that kind of has to understand every single player, you know. And I start to understand about the libero, who's like the, the guy who's like have to save the ball. And then the, the spiker, the ace, or the, the main, main person who smashed. I always thought like, okay, you know, somebody smashes is whoever. And then that's like the, the main thing. But it's not, you know, like they, there's also like this extra role, which is like the decoy. I didn't even know that that thing existed. Like somebody who's there to, to fake the fact that they're, they're smashing and then the, to just to scare the the or to confuse the, the opponent and sometimes when they smash it's like so dangerous that the opponent cannot ignore them they have to pension to them I that's kind of awesome there's this whole new world of uh, things to learn you know uh, another thing that I love you know about what uh, I learned about volleyball okay I always thought the best serve is frankly you know you just throw the ball in the air and then you smash it down like it's a spike and that's really still like one of the best uh, serve right because it's like so uh, it's like a smash it's so dangerous it's so it's just brutal but uh, apparently there's this um, person in the show which is a uh, uh, how you call it it's a pinch server so they only bring him in uh, because okay it's time to serve just score some point <laughs> and then after that okay get out because you don't know how to do anything but serve and I thought wait that really there's something such thing as a pinch server and then he started to do the serve and then as I watched the show I was not at all impressed by the serve it's like uh, okay it's a serve that goes straight and just goes down it's like but I don't know every every single player seems like to be like oh this is an awesome serve and then I can't catch that serve it's so difficult you know and okay uh, I, I gotta start to get along with the show and I, I just went along with it and realized okay I guess he's like a very good server and then we just bring him in to score points and then bring it out and then it's like he's like this awesome serve but i have to think like wait it, the, that serve that just floats and then just ball go in is that really a difficult serve so i have to do the research and then it's true you know that there, there's like this one particular kind of volleyball serve that people do and then i don't know it's very difficult to, to catch apparently even though it's like not like a like this it's just like I guess because it's unpredictable. So my point is that I like I learned stuff about volleyball that I, I didn't even wanted to learn and then it's awesome, you know. So that's one of the things that really the I think that's really the, the main thing that I react like about the show is that they make he it makes me like something about volleyball and learn something about volleyball that I didn't actually care for and that that's really awesome. Number three, let's talk about characters and then, uh, yeah, I really like all the characters, you know, I like when the, there's a character who's like very um, full of himself, you know, very confident, very uh, crazy, but I gotta say, I, I really do like the Hinata character, he, he's a little bit crazy, he just goes and then, uh, I don't know, in the beginning of the show, he, he's like he has this awesome talent of hitting the ball uh, his eyes closed but he's like I mean he's just like going like crazy so unpredictable and the only way that they can score points is because they have this the awesome setter who can accurately like put the ball exactly in front of him so that the the that character Hinata he, when she smashes the ball it always lands and it's always awesome Hinata, yeah, he's even though he's like that, he wants to learn more. He wants to have control of the ball, so he develops and then he he asks for more and then he wants to. So there's a lot of character development. Uh, the character, uh, man, it, it's hard to remember the names because they're all Japanese. Uh, the setter from the beginning, he's um he also developed as a character in the beginning. He thinks like okay. I'm the best seller in the world, so I just place the ball exactly where you want and then you just smash it and then we score a point. No problem. Until the moment where it doesn't work anymore. Because basically 
if he's in control of the ball, where he's going to go exactly, but the guy, the person who, who smashes the ball, really, they don't have control. So he, he started to realize, okay, I have to, to be the kind of person who's like really setting the ball perfectly for the person to choose where to attack rather than I choose like where the ball goes. You know? and I, there's a lot of character development, like I said, you know, and uh, yeah, this this show, it's um, has very good character development, and I usually you kind of see that in uh, sports movies because yeah, I don't know, like sports, you have to de- you show the sports how awesome it is, but you have to de- also develop the characters, you know. That that's something a few things I like about uh, sports movies. Something particular I like about sports movies or animes. Um, and I I do like animes where you you have like characters fighting monsters or fighting robots, which is like a lot of those animes. But check this one out. This is like this is unique. This is a very enjoyable. Uh, if you feel like you know you 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 want to uh, watch anime and then not think just about like just characters bitching about each other you just want like to to focus on the sport itself sport of volleyball this is anime for you because it's all about volleyball they don't like play around with like other side uh, side stories all this, the story is entirely about volleyball so you go, you know, will like it okay so that was my review of uh, Haikyuu and then I will see you next time for the next review